Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick short video actually because I get this asked a lot. Uh, it's like, uh, what kind of UI mod tools do you use? And what kind of hotkeys do you got set up or at least the layout for it? But first I'll go with you through the uh, UI mod tools in general. So basically I have 12 right now and there's still a couple that I kind of want to use but I can't because they're just straight up broken. So these are the ones that I have so far. So I'll just go through it one by one. Uh, so uh, a hotkeys key is basically uh, installs pretty much every hotkey that there is for every command uh, when it comes to like uh, any combination of UI mods. So basically like uh, disperse move and advanced target priorities, which is actually quite handy uh, because if I show you later on the picture as well. I have like a couple things on my numpad that basically gives you a quick, you know, uh, action. So if you select the unit, then basically it will prioritize it. So yeah, uh, ACU highlight uh, pretty much just highlights the ACU. It's broken only with Seraphim though. Uh, so if the Seraphim is making RAS units, then that highlights it as well. But nobody makes, uh, you know, serve them RAS boys, so you only see the ACU highlight. So it's really helpful, actually. Advanced minimap basically just removes the border, as you can see in all of my videos. Uh, basically, clears up space and makes it minimalistic. Uh, now there's something here as well. So you have advanced target priorities 1.0 and 1.1. I suggest 1.1 because that basically includes all the important ones like uh, battle cruisers, destroyers, uh, artillery, these kind of things. Uh, again, very helpful, and I suggest uh, using hotkey keys for that one too. Uh, build range preview, uh, basically just if you select an engineer or your ACU and you press move or to a certain area, it will already show you the uh, build range preview and that way you can like reduce the seconds and then overall it just adds up. Very helpful in the beginning. Also mid game, late game doesn't even bother that much, but yeah. Uh, common mod tools, basically you need this if you want to enable a few other ones, uh, uh, other UI mod tools, but that's that. Uh, disperse move, uh, I have it installed, even though I think in FAF, uh, it is already, I think, pre-built in, but I still have it though. <coughs> so yeah, that's kind of it. You know, Eco UI tools by Forzot, really helpful. I think it's Control K, super helpful. Uh, it has like loads of uh, things and everything. Uh, when it comes to uh, what do you call that? Options. Uh, the only thing that I actually use this for right now is to show my mexes at what tier they are. So like. I'm using a 4K screen and I can't see shit. So if it's like tier one, tier two, tier three, I'm just gonna have to like, you know, um, like gun it. But with this, it just shows the new numbers. Like one, two, three. Straightforward as it comes, really helpful. Uh, Eternal strategic icons, uh, bumps it up. Uh, again, I, it's super good. I just like it. Uh, I can't do it with the regular ones. And it also shows the, the engineers highlighting if it's like uh, Tech 1, 2, or 3. Again, super helpful. Uh, Supreme Scoreboard. Now, I like this. Uh, uh, Forzot has like a, a couple of other scoreboards that are really minimalistic. However, uh, there's one thing that I cannot get used to, uh, and it's just baked into me right now. It's like... With any other scoreboard, if you want to share a unit, you're going to have to click it, shift, this, that, whereas only with Supreme Scoreboard, you just click one time and that's it, and you share it. It's the only thing. Uh, UI mod tools, you need this in order to enable eco UI tools, so these two are compatible. And UI party is the one that I use So uh, for mostly when you select like a group and then... You want to go to the next one in the group then you just press a button and it just selects one again this is super helpful when it comes to engineers like really fast building and everything 
So yeah, these are pretty much the UI tools that I have. Uh, I used to have, uh, what was it? Easy Reclaim, actually. So I haven't enabled it yet. Uh, I can try it. I don't know if it still works, though. But basically, if you're in Reclaim mode, instead of like uh, checking where the Reclaim is, so you just press your button for Reclaim with your engineer, and it automatically shows you all the Reclaim that's on it. And when you deselect it, it automatically deselects that, uh, you know, uh, the, the labeling of all the mass as well. Also, very, very helpful if you want to be super fast in, you know, sucking up all the mass. So, yeah. Uh, on screen recon counter, I love to use it. I want to use it. I can't use it because it breaks my uh, entire screen of the, the, the 4K UI stuff. If it wasn't like uh, 180p, uh, not a problem, really helpful and mandatory, so yeah. Other than that, um, hot build overhaul, I haven't tried it yet. I want to do it, but the only reason uh, why I don't want to use it is I'll break everything when it comes to my hotkeys. I have to like reconfigure it. And the only reason why I don't use this is the because of this to show it to you. So these are like the hotkeys that I'm using, and I'll be sharing a picture of this on the YouTube uh, post as well, so people can copy it if they want to. But this is what I have. Just to go quickly over it. Um, mostly here, I use it with two things, either with Shift or with Control. Now, everything that is in red is with shift, and if it doesn't have anything, it's just regular, but it's all in one hand, so that's that. Uh, I didn't include the numpad for it, but to give you an idea for it, uh, with target priorities... Actually, I'll come to that at the end. Let me just deal with this first. Uh, so I have all my main buildings here. Uh, with Qs and with my missile defense and nuclear, I have that with Shift Q. So if I want to select it, I just press Shift Q and then Q as well for the anti nuke. Uh, w, I only have the the tactical missile and the nuke for it as well. Also, oh, yeah, SMB and nuke. So yeah, that's it. Uh, and as for my regular W, it's the the one key zoom pop. So to give you an idea idea of what it is uh, one key zoom pop I can actually host a game right here real quickly so if I'm here and I press W I'm already bowed but it follows where my mouse is and sometimes I like to scroll but if there are situations where it's like a strategic launch detected then you're like all right uh, I'm building there we go oh then I'm instantly there, rather than scrolling out. Like, it just, and if I want to follow it here, so it's like mid, there, there. It's just with the W. Again, super helpful, at least for me. Uh, reclaim mod is with E. So, that's that. I don't think I have anything when it comes to shift or control E. So that is something that I can actually use in the future if I if there's anything that I find uh, useful. Uh, mass extractors are with R, and with uh, what do you call that? Fabrications, fabrications, fabricators is with uh, what is it? Shift R. Uh, Intel T, new uh, artillery is with uh, Shift T as well. And if we go to the, the other buildings, so then we have power and shields, which I have on C. Uh, PDs I have with V, and then uh, SAMs and air, and then also uh, naval I have with B. Because these two is not really what I frequently use, uh, especially with naval, so I just uh, dig it out. Now, the most important part is, in my opinion, uh, the engineers. Uh, is like I have it with Q, R, and V. So in other words, uh, build uh, extractors. So that's uh, tier two, and then tier three, pretty much. Uh, if we look at the middle ones, it's very standard. A is for attack. S stop. D is for move. F is for building upgrades. So if you want to upgrade really, really fast with this one, 
you press this one and you just press F. And then you press another F. That's it. Straightforward as it comes. So, yeah. Uh, let me just queue this up real quick to show you something else later on, I guess. Uh, to show you the ring build mod, if I just move it, it doesn't show anything. If I hold shift, it shows you the building range. So normally what people do is like if they go here, like it go walks all the way, right? Now if I move it back, then for example, instead of doing it close here, I can just do it here, boop. And it will automatically build while it's right here. It just saves you a little bit of time. There. Um, disperse mode. And spread attack is so shift G. And then the disperse move is with H. Um, anything else? Yes. Uh, so with factories, I do this manually. So Z is pause and X is repeat. So for these two, and also overcharge with your ACUs, control C for that. So very straightforward, uh, that's pretty much it. The important ones that I have on the left is with the tilt, uh, next to the number one. Uh, select ideal engineers on the screen, uh, self-explanatory pretty much. Uh, as for tabs, this is the one with the UI mod. So if I press tab, then pretty much it goes to the next unit. Uh, caps lock pretty much selects the nearest on lowest uh, tech idle NAS extractor and it's pretty much like this so here it doesn't matter where my mouse is so if I'm here then it goes to this one right there I don't have to click it so in other words no need to zoom in click it and then press F to upgrade it now what I can do is just click 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 where my mouse the closest is, and that's that. Uh, as for UI, uh, so you see here, so uh, another one that I have is Control R selects everything uh, over the entire map. If I press Tab, it goes cycles. Oh, it cycles through the mass extractors. So that's the power of the UI mod, and you can do this with anything here. Super helpful again. There. Alright. Um, yeah, besides that, that's kind of it. Um, the important ones are with control. Uh, control X selects all units. I never use that one. Uh, control C on screen. Uh, I don't use that a lot, actually. Uh, believe it or not. Uh, control A is mandatory, select all air fighters, super important for all those interceptors when you're a uh, air force uh, kind of guy, or well, you know, basically air. Uh, control D, select all yeah, land units, uh, which is good too if you have everything rallied to one point or to one front. Control R, control R is basically all the mass extractors and D is like the naval units, so the only thing that you need is air land and naval that's it so yeah uh the ones that i don't have and which i'm still trying to find out how to fix it but apparently i need to look into the files of it which is annoying is to basically just sort this out but i don't know how it is so this is one thing that i can improve upon but yeah uh if you want to copy this entire thing then all of these ones here uh you can just basically go to your uh, settings, key bindings, and then just find it and do it as well. Uh, hot buildings, this is what I have here to get everything that you have for it. So, yeah, you can just basically copy paste it and it should be okay. Pretty much covers everything uh, except field engineers, spark keys, artillery, uh, mobile missile launches, mostly the units. Uh, build experimentals, actually, I have this on F2. Uh, I'm still learning it, but yeah. Uh, for people that are trying to say, yo, this looks intimidating, yo, uh, let me just use my mouse and just like, uh, one, two, three, that's it. Again, it only takes like five to ten minutes of practice, that's it. 
another thing is I have a G502 mouse and I have like a couple of key bindings here as well. So uh, yeah, so for this one right here, the first one, uh, numpad 3, uh, is a template one. So this pretty much just covers the templates if I want to do something. If we look on the side, uh, this one I have it for the hives actually, which is important. And also for the tactical missile launch. So you can just select it and rather than just clicking, go to the bottom left and continue with that. You can just like shift click it. I don't have anything for this one. You don't need the first one. You can just use the shift version. That's it. So you're good. Uh, P is for patrol. Uh, to do it fast. So if I just want to patrol, do it like that. And the last one is the, the one all the way in the back. Is immediately kill selected units. Super good. Super helpful. And, you know, uh, nothing accidental will hit. So, yeah. If you control kill yourself. Uh, don't do it with any other button. I have it right there. I have like a grip claw kind of thing, so that's that. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Oh, and there's one more thing. Um, keypads. Uh, to give you an idea, actually. Yeah, there you go. Let me use my calculator for this one. Boom. So for one, two, three. Uh, actually, let's start first with what I have right here. So for 7, I have it for transport. So select all transport is changed. It's not numpad 4, it's 7 for me. So if I want to select all my transporters on the map, uh, it's 7. Uh, 4, 5, 6 is interesting. So on my numpad, uh, 4 is, uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, destroy all mexes, destroy all power, and 6. I can't remember. Ah, PDs, PDs. That's right, PDs. So, Mexis, Power, PDs. Uh, PDs mostly for the ACU, which is helpful. Uh, for 1, 2, 3, I have one as engineers, second as land units, third one ACU. Zero, actually, I have it as default. So, pretty much, if you don't want to prioritize anything, you just want to go back to the vault, you just press that. And uh, what is it? Uh, the period button? The period button. <laughs> Next to zero, I have it focused on artillery. And artillery, I mostly have that for uh, for your tier 2 arties. Or if you have uh, tier 2 PDs and you want them to focus the arties rather than the tanks as well, I just uh, focus that one. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, if you have any more questions or if you want to find all of those mods, again, you can go to the mod settings. Mostly go to the recommended UI mods and you can just do it there. If you want to see it one more time what I have, uh, you can look through all of these ones here. These are pretty much what I have. So yeah, that's that. Anyway, uh, thank you. Ah, man, that's a long ass video again. Fuck. Thank you, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions, leave some feedback, smash like and subscribe, <laughs> and have a good day. Take care.